Hey guys, it's Noble9121 here, and today I will be showing you how to install texture packs on Lumen64 Plus FZ and N64 and N64 Oid. Okay, if you're gonna do this on N64 Oid, all you gotta do is go into settings, engine, make sure the check marks on and external textures. Now shut that down, go into your file manager, if you're on Android 6.0, oh wait, <laughs> if you're on Android 6.0, uh, what you're going to do is hit these three little dots, hit show hidden folders, you'll find N64 right in it. Now if you have a texture pack that you bought the internet, what you want to do is go to RAR, and you will simply open up the folder that you have your download in, or your, whatever it's called. You download your, your game, just open up your game. Now you will just do your, now you will just unzip it. You'll hold down, hit extract here. It will give you a extracted texture folder most likely. Now what you will do now will be go into your download folder, like so. No wait, go to, yeah, go to your download folder where you where the new folder would be. Hit copy. You copy your thing by hitting this button up here. Now going into your N64 wide folder that you need to paste your text. This could take a while, but since I'm not actually gonna since I don't actually have the textures on then there now method two which will be for Lupin 64 plus FZ as you can see here beautiful looking <laughs> this is this emulator personally I prefer over N64 right anyway what you're going to do is go to tools click it hit add text pack now you go to your download what you need here is zipped is a zipped texture folder. So say your texture folder was say uh, this folder 3ds uh, emulator was your <laughs> textures. What you do is click here. You would hit this, and it should bring up this. What you do is zip it with a zip file. Of course I won't because I actually need that for my DS emulator for it to work, but now you're simply going to just go into your Open64 plus FZ and hit add text pack. You're gonna go to where you have the zip file. I actually do have one here. And you're gonna click it and hit OK. It'll extract the textures into its files and absorb them pretty much. I guess. I, bad description. <laughs> Anyways, afterwards, your end result. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, here will be your end result if you did it correctly. I did miss a step. I will go back and teach you that. Okay, what you're going to do, as you can see here, it takes a while to load your textures. Especially if you're recording on video like I am using Mo. Mobizen. <laughs> Anyways, once this is done loading, I'll show off, well, what I have for a text track. Sorry, that was very loud audio. I probably just deafened so many headphone users. As you can see, I have custom models imported too, but here you go. This little video here. Now, if I were to exit out of there, here is the final step. In order to load those textures, what you would do is either select the rice, Mudlord's rice, fast. It has textures, it's supportive for high res textures. But you would also need Glide N64 Glass 2.0 if you are going to be using 
non like if you don't have any custom model imports then don't you if you don't have anything customized with your mo with link choose les but if you do have custom models it'll invert them so let's stick with right fast now when you load the game as you saw a couple minutes ago or a couple seconds ago really it will be wonderfully high res anyways this is noble 9121 end in the video good night everybody